So how's it going everyone? T Glizzy here and today we're going to be showing you an early preview of Arc 3.0. We don't know much about Arc 3.0 but what we do know right now is that this subclass update is going to be coming next season in season 18 and we also know that this subclass update is going to be focusing on player speed, fast attacks, and chaining lightning. So today we're going to be giving you an early preview of Arc 3.0. So if you do go in to enjoy this Destiny 2 video please be sure to let me know by smashing that thumbs up button but without further ado let's dive straight in. To it. So Sandbox lead Kevin Yanes hinted on Twitter that they've been quietly showing off Arc 3.0 and experimenting with Arc 3.0 inside of the Witch Queen expansion. So this is what Kevin Yanes had to say on Twitter. Using the Synaptic Spear, the only thing that can damage Savathun's echoes in the battlegrounds, is proof of concept of some of the new things that we're going to be trying with Arc 3.0 when that arrives this year. And then he went on to say in a following tweet that Arc 3.0 would not be this level of crazy with a one-to-one -one equivalent. So when you do pick up the Synaptic spear you do gain a ton of abilities when you pick up the spear you gain increased movement speed and jump height you also get extra slide distance you get the aoe melee slam with the synaptic spear and then you get a double blink on your l1 button for your controller which is absolutely insane being able to blink around and being able to double blink so these movement changes are basically arc 3.0 and what they want to do with arc 3.0 like we mentioned at the beginning of the video with arc 3.0 they're going to be focused on player speed fast attacks and chaining lightning so we're getting our first look at r 3.0 with the synaptic spear so kevin yanes continued to talk about light subclasses and their 3.0 updates he went on to say that they wanted to add ranged melees to every single subclass and this is definitely true if we take a look at void 3.0 the warlock and the titan class received a ranged melee so i wouldn't expect anything to be different with arc 3.0 so the titan and the hunter class are missing a ranged melee so they might be getting a ranged melee in season 18. So now with the information we know, I'm expecting next season in season 18 for the Hunter's Arc 3.0 subclass to have a ranged melee attack attached alongside it. So maybe we'll be able to throw our javelin and actually have a ranged melee attack. How cool would it be to be throwing your spear, throw your spear, dodge to get a spear back, throw another spear. That's just a very nice loop and it definitely is a loop that I would enjoy. And I know a lot of you guys would enjoy too. It would be super satisfying killing an enemy with your spear, dodging to get another one back would definitely be very satisfying fine and kevin yanes actually went out of his way to delete all of these tweets off of his twitter account so basically just giving us more confirmation that we are going to be seeing some type of melee ranged attack next season and also that the synaptic spear is our first look at arc 3.0 and maybe we could be seeing some more huge changes coming when the subclass releases in season 18 but yeah guys that's gonna do it for me in this destiny 2 video if you did enjoy please be sure to let me know by smashing that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more and I being your boy T Glizzy, you guys have been my awesome viewers, and I'll see you guys in another. Peace.